Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, or Saigon. This is the largest city in Vietnam, and it's also home to a thriving street food scene. We arrived a few days ago, and after picking up my mom from the airport, we are now ready to eat our way through this sprawling city. But it's also only a few days before the Lunar New Year, also known as Tet, which is the largest holiday observed in Vietnam. A lot of places close for days or even weeks surrounding the holiday. That's close. You guessed it. That's close. But we're still hoping to find a good bite to eat. We are here in Saigon, Vietnam with our special visitor, my mom, who flew halfway across the world to come see us. And today we are going to introduce her to Vietnam by doing a food tour. We should note that this week is the Lunar New Year, also known as Tet. So we're not exactly sure if anything's gonna be open, but it should be a great time. A bunch of people are here and the city's really just feeling alive. Our first stop is gonna be getting some of the famous Vietnamese iced coffee. Let's go. Hello, can you get two coffees Thank you. So let's see how this stacks up to American coffee. I want to try it. Give me, give me. What's oh, the verdict? Strong. Yeah? Good, yeah. Lots of caffeine. We need it. We need it. Gotta perk up. Got a lot of food to eat today. For the day, we decided to try the most iconic Vietnamese dish, pho. Pho is a Vietnamese soup consisting of broth, rice noodles, herbs, and meat. And a good pho is really all about the broth, which is a long simmered affair to yield a flavorful and savory taste. It's going to be fabulous. <laughs> Very funny. We topped ours off with sprouts, basil leaves, and pepper. Trying pho broth. How is it? That's really good. How is it? Oh my gosh, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I didn't even get any noodles in it, but the broth is just so flavorful and savory. Oh man, this pho definitely lives up to the importance of pho broth. It's so freaking good. And even though it's like almost 90 degrees out today with the humidity, I still always love some soup. So Vietnam's gonna be good for me. So just down the street from that pho restaurant is this market called Thai Bin. It's a super cool food market. Right now we're walking through an area with a lot of like fruit and vegetable vendors, but I think there should be some food stands here too. Thirty thousand? No. There you go. Oh, three thousand a piece. That's a great deal. All right, ladies, what did we pick up? I picked up some nice fresh fried uh, egg rolls, spring rolls, something. And at only three thousand dong a pop, they're an absolute deal. Are they veggie? Are they meat? Good? Maybe like... I don't know, it's got the spices in it. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Up to this point, our day had pretty much gone exactly to plan, despite it being days from the Lunar New Year. But our luck was about to run out. Okay, so mom, there is a famous show on Netflix called Street Food, and they did an episode here. And one of the things they went to was a stand that specializes in snails. Are you gonna try them? You're friends. You're friends. 
escargot. Escargot. Oui, oui. One month. Oh, okay. She's close for one month. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. She works hard. She deserves a break. All right. On to the next spot. On to the next. Can't win them all. sure how the day would go, but we were excited to be seeing more and more signs of the new year approaching. The city was alive with color and flowers, and everyone seemed to be buzzing with excitement and energy. All right, it's the next day, so we're heading out again. Hopefully some stuff is open. It's a little earlier in the morning, though it is the day before 10, so we'll see how this goes. Our luck was not improving much the next day. The first spot wasn't even open. The place we were going to ended up being closed. And the second spot was sold out of pretty much everything but far. <laughs> which we had already tried. <laughs> the next spot we went to literally closed right as we sat down. They literally just closed. Are you kidding me? This is honestly the most challenging food tour we have ever done. Eventually, our luck changed. Yeah, it looks like they're still cooking. Here's the menu, they're open. Oh, huh. all right. We did it, we found the spot. I can't believe it. That took a lot of effort. It took a lot of effort, but we're here now. And honestly, this place looks pretty good. And the ladies are super nice. And I don't know about you, babe, but I love nice ladies. Me too. Especially when they make awesome food. Thank you. These look absolutely wonderful. So we got two noodle dishes. Both of them are served in like a really nice broth. Um, one of them has the rice noodles and one of them has egg noodles. And I believe they both have like a char roasted barbecue pork, which looks really good in there. Got lots of scallions and I bet that broth has been simmering for a while in that big pot they got back there. Let's dig in. Rice noodles first. So how's the rice noodles? The rice noodles are really good, but honestly I got like a chunk of crunchy barbecue pork in that bite. So that was really, really nice. I think they're all stuck together. Just slurp it. Just slurp it, Mom. And how's the pork? Very tender. Mm. Spicy. Alright, so we're gonna dress this up like the locals do with a little bit of soy sauce. Get some peppers in there. All right, and now we stir it up. Very tasty. It just gives the broth kind of more flavor to it, like another dimension. And wow, it's good in there. Well, we did the damage. That's good. And no Vietnamese food tour would be complete without trying to bond me. So we're at this little stand just down the street from our Airbnb to pick one up. Bon Mi is another massively popular street food in Vietnam. A remnant from French occupation, a bon Mi is a French baguette with some type of protein and topped off with peppers, cilantro, cucumber, chili sauce, and soy sauce. Thank you. I get with a bunch of goodies in there. Thank you. We've got our bon mis, which is an exciting one because this is kind of a food that's like a remnant of the French occupation of Vietnam. And they put it all this yummy stuff on a nice fresh French baguette. And it's just like the perfect lunch food. It ended up being way more challenging finding food the week of Tet than we thought. You guessed it, that's close. We have never had to do a food tour over two days, 
but it's really nice to see these hard-working people taking time off to spend quality time with family. We also felt lucky to be spending the holiday with family. And even though we were forced to eat packaged ramen noodles that night, I think we'll all still smile when we think back on that time that we were lucky enough to be in Vietnam for Tet. Chances of that song. Let's keep going. I saw that. Oh. It's coming out. Me too. All right. Let's go next We're practically locals. People are probably looking at us, thinking that we're Vietnamese. Going wow. These people are naturals. <laughs> <laughs> 